I use the wax resist technique or the wax paper resist technique to create these tags and I thought I would share with you just a moment on how I did that and the background that that wax paper resist creates for the simple stenciled tag. My name is Peg. I call my channel Two Old Crows Media. I hope you'll take a moment and subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you come along with me on my journey on learning all of this journaling processes and techniques and if you hit that notification bell you will be notified when I upload additional content. So we're going to start with just a simple piece of wax paper right out of the kitchen. Scrumple it up and make sure that you get it very very wrinkled. Stick it inside one of your embossing folders and run it through your embossing machine. I chose a flowered type background. So now I'm just cutting some cardstock and I'm going to cut that into tag size. So I have my two pieces of cardstock. I'm going to make those about two and a half inches or three inches by about six inches and just make them the size that my embossing folder will. Once I have that wax paper, I'll lay that in between my two pieces of cardstock and I'm just folding over an additional piece of paper to you know protect that while I iron. I'm ironing with a heat iron, no steam, high heat, no steam. Now with the wax paper side up or the side that that wax transferred to your cardstock, take your ink and just go over that. And I'm just going full on with the uh, ink pad and now just kind of making sure that I'm um, filling in all the areas left uncovered or uninked. So I'm using Peacock Feather Blue and Twisted Citron. And I'm just adding a little bit of that in to highlight some of the areas. And now we'll go just the reverse on the other. Again, full on with the ink pad. And I'll add just a little bit of uh, interest on this one with the Peacock Feather Blue. So there are the backgrounds. And I am taking just a dry rag uh, t-shirt material and rubbing it over that to remove any of that ink off the top of the wax or where the resist is to make sure that my image comes through nicely. I have cut a card, hotel key card, to a diagonal. I'm using that to make both sides of my tag equal. And now just a quick hole punch right in the center. So there you have the tag. I think I'm going to round off these corners and ink around the outside edge with that vintage photo. I'm just ironing that one down because I crumpled it up a bit and I just want to straighten it out. And I have decided to put some additional noise on the background of this card and I'm inking up a script, random script stamp. And I'm just placing that in random spots along these tags. And there you have it. So I have this new stencil that I just received. This is my first time using it and I really love it. It is this beautiful woman silhouette here and I'm going to pull some texture paste through that. And I will do the same on the other. I'm just wiping off my stencil because I'm gonna flip it over and the second one I am going to go the opposite, looking in the opposite direction. I don't know why I felt that was important, but it just seemed like if I had to, they needed to face each other. I guess communication is key here, right? 
So now I have both of those that are wet and I would like to darken them up so they are very vibrant on this tag. So I'm covering them with a black embossing powder. And I'll just shake off that excess powder. And it looks like it didn't really fit to our face here, but we will correct that later. We will get this first round of embossing powder set, and then I will go back with my second application of the embossing powder. Okay, that is set. Now I'm utilizing the embossing pen to just fill in any of the areas that I allowed that texture paste to get too dry before I put the embossing powder on. So note to self, do one, emboss it, then do the other and emboss. I tried to do them both at the same time and I think the um, texture paste on this yellow tag dried or it began to dry a little bit faster or a little bit more than the would allow the texture paste to adhere I guess is what I'm trying to say so I went back and re-inked those with that in, um, ink pen or that embossing pen I have these little black butterflies in my stash from a previous project that I'm going to use to fly out of her hand here. They're tiny little butterflies that came from a Martha Stewart stamp that I've had for years. And I think they make a, a nice little statement here coming, coming out of her hand. And I am also going to add some sentiments. I have the Tim Holtz sentiments that I've chosen a few and I am gluing those down and then on each end of that sentiment I will be punching a little hole with my pokey tool and poking a brad through there to give that a little more interest. Now just inking around the outside I have glued copy stain paper to the back of the cards to create that writing space. And this is just a vintage photo ink, of course. And there, that pretty much completes that part of the card. Now we just need to add a little ribbon at the top to tie that off. And I'm just cutting a piece of black ribbon and looping it through that hole and giving it one little tie to keep it um, secure. And that Pretty much completes the tag. I'm going to add just the word note on the back here with my stamp. And you have two very quick, very easy tags with texture paste through a stencil, some embossing powder to raise it, the sentiment with the brads. And you have a nice, nice little wax paper resist background. Once again, my name is Peg, my channel, Two Old Crows Mix Media. I appreciate you being here. Please take the time to subscribe. I appreciate the likes, and I always read your comments and reply to each and every one. So thank you again. Bye for now.